Screaming Eagle and Ola Suspension from Harley Davidson. To the video guys today we're gonna to be talking about the screaming eagle and olin suspension from harley davidson i've had them on my bike for quite some time right now and i remember telling you guys that after i put them on i will follow up with a follow-up review video of them so that's what we're going to be talking about today just take a close look because these things look so freaking cool first of all let's just talk about looks they look absolutely beautiful in the way that they are mounted onto the bike in the rear um, gives it a nice clean look. It gives it a nice aggressive look. Also giving you easy access to adjust them whenever you like. Now I gotta be honest with you, it took me some time to get these dialed in to where they're at now. And that's pretty normal because you, you wanna dial your suspension in to like the perfect spec. Uh, just, I don't know, me personally, I, I don't like my ride too plush. And at the same time, I don't like it too, too stiff. I kinda like, I like it kind of like right in the middle, but it needs to be a certain way. Um, so it's going to take you a while to dial it in. Now, the good thing about that is that you can also change it very easy. Anytime you want to get on the road and you want to have a very stiff ride, you get about to hit the canyons up and you want your a nice little stiff suspension, um, you can change that. If you're going to have a passenger in the back, if you want things to be a bit more plush for them, you can change that easy access up here. I absolutely love how easy it is to do all those things. Um, but man, just even looking at this bike right now, just the way it's set up with this is it's, it's really cool. One thing that's a plus about this is that they also do come with the uh, hardware in order for you to install it up here, which is pretty neat. I really, and, and it's just, it's not one of those brackets that's going to be in the way up here. It's just very clean. I have the Legend suspension before and those were mounted right here with the dock and hardware is that. Um, they were kind of like right in this location right here. This looks much better to me. It just, it, 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 it looks cool, man. It, it looks cool. Now, a really cool factor about this suspension right here, this suspension was developed strictly straight out of the uh, King of the Baggers races. That's where this whole suspension emerged from, which is pretty awesome. So the fact that, you know, now that we have these baggers on the racetrack, we get to see cool things like this trickling down from the actual things that they actually use on the racetrack itself. And it's um it's awesome to see that. So this is like, you know, one of the things that we could see now, who knows what may come down the pipeline later on. Um, so I am super eager to follow up with the races for 2023. But yeah, man, as of now, no issues with them. Um, do I like them more than the Legends I had on before? I don't know. I think I think that should be its own video. I still have those Legends uh, in the back right there. So maybe we'll, we'll do a follow-up video about that next week. Put them side by side. Even as far as like look-wise to show you guys the difference between them. But as of now, I, I absolutely love these. They work really well. I think they're worth every penny. Um, and I think that, you know, suspension is one of the things that people kind of at times overlook and it's one of those modifications that are going to, they're, they're going to make a huge difference, man. It, it you know, the, just being able to ride your bike better makes a huge difference in your own riding style as well. And, um, having these looking so good, it's just, you know, whatever. Um, that's pretty much it. Do I recommend them? Yes. Are they worth every penny? Yes. Do they look good? Yes. Um, I, I want to keep riding on them and I want to keep putting them to the test and do different types of, uh, of riding style. So we'll see. We'll do up another video in a few months after we get a few more thousand miles on them and see how they're holding up. Anyways, if you want to see more content like this, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Any content on my 21 Rogue Glide, my... 83 FXR in the back and my 2020 low rider rest to the right of me. Lots of content. Lots of honest and useful content. We'll leave it at that. Anyways, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.